It's uh, Tuesday, September 27, 2011. I'm with the corner of Virginia and Shipping. I'm just going to show an example of illegal campaign sign placement. <clears throat> campaign signs cannot be placed on the public easement, townhouse walls, sidewalks, swales. They have to be up against the house, within two or three feet of the house, three feet at the most. And that's to keep the neighbors from becoming junked up. So I'll be removing these signs after all, especially since the cops and our dear commissioner don't care anything about the law, the spirit or the letter of the law, and they're setting a bad example for other people. This is a nice neighborhood, but I've removed dozens of signs recently, and I'm going to re be removing more, including some of the illegal signs. Let's go see Sarnoff's compound and see how many illegal signs he has. And he's supposed to be setting an example for the, for the citizenry. I don't think so. I'm writing down... Uh, Virginia and coming up to Sarnoff, Sarnoff's uh, circle. Illegal sign, illegal sign. Illegal sign, but I like her. She's not a thug protector. She doesn't send cops out to put guns to people's heads like my old pal Mark Sarnoff. As I've said in many other videos, I'm Mark's first friend, very first friend he made in Miami about 25 years ago. This is Sarnoff's compound. He no Hi, good morning. He no longer has signs in the side here, but he probably does have signs in the front. So let's talk about that. Okay, there we are. Let me shut the camera off. Morning. Mark and I met in 1987 at the local gym, and we became instant best friends. We really hung out for a long time and a lot. I'm not friendly with them anymore because, what, 25 years later, over 20 years later, I got into trouble with police with a minor drug arrest. I complained about it. I was warned not to complain about it. Our thug cops then beat me up, beat me to die. There were a number of instances, hassles, including there was a minor one yesterday. When I asked my buddy Mark a couple of years ago when this situation came up for help, he said, I can't help you, Reed. You're in conflict with the city. Well, he wants to run for re-election. I oppose him. I'm telling the truth about Sarnoff. This is just seems like a petty thing, but it really isn't. Neighborhoods get junked up with excess campaign signs. The sign ordinance has been in effect since 1967. It says each private home can have, at most, one sign up near the house. Not on the easement, not near the street, not on the swale. Mark has three signs. A few weeks ago, he had six, seven. I'm going to knock that down tonight, Mark. You know, I've talked to Code Compliance yesterday, and they said they'd get back to me, but they won't, because they're all in your pocket. Let's take a look at your park. At least we got some rain. That's nice. I see. The gate is open. I'm going to walk in and take a look around. Gee, I hope you don't complain and say I'm trespassing on public property. Here are the new plantings. All the hand-laid brick. All of this excavation is new. All sod. Let's take a walk around. It's really pretty. I mean, people are going to love it. I like it, too. Ah, it's crushed shell. Very nice. I hope it doesn't cut, cut the uh, dog's pads, but I guess it won't. And they've put in a kind of grass that doesn't require a lot of maintenance or a lot of water. Something tougher than uh, Bermuda grass. I mean, tougher than St. Augustine. So it's, it's over an acre. It's a large area. They say they did all this for $140,000, and there were weeks of earth-moving equipment in here. But even if it cost $40,000, there was nothing wrong with the old park. The dogs don't know the difference. People had picnic tables to sit at. It was just fine. But it wasn't good enough for you, Mark. It wasn't good enough for your front yard, was it? So I'll make a little video of some sort of this footage. I'm going to go to Home Depot and buy a supply of propane. We'll be talking about that. I'll be here at the park, too, demonstrating to people how to use propane. It's not harmful at all. I'll be calling you, Mark.
it's your buddy. Now when you do a YouTube or, or Google search, just type your name and my name, R-E-I-D-W-E-L-C-H, and Mark Sarnoff, and see the hits that come up. Goodbye, Mark. No wonder it's wet here. I thought it was the rain. What it is, it's the custom irrigation system getting tested out. Very nice. The old park didn't have any irrigation, so it was a little scruffy. But this is going to get watered plenty. It's going to get all the water and all the grass and all the maintenance by, by city employees. Whatever it takes to make it look good. What's the matter, Mark? Are you running out of piss? <laughs>